I'd like to contextualize my presentation um, based on our experience in Jamaica. And uh, as a result of that, I will be giving you a little about um, the stock exchange, telling you a little about the stock exchange, and also Jamaica. The Jamaica Stock Exchange is a demutualized exchange and has been in existence for over 44 years. We have 60 securities that are traded on the exchange across three markets. The main market, the US denominated securities market, and the junior market. We have a market capitalization of US $6.2 billion, which represents some 74% of GDP. We are regulated by um, our Financial Services Commission, which is a B signatory of IASCO. And our average volume and value traded on the exchange are 8 million um, units, and the number of trades uh, on an average daily basis is 98. So that's pr pretty much the highlight for Jamaica Stock Exchange. Now the highlight for the economy. Um, our debt to GDP ratio is 140%. Probably many of you in the audience can know that that's not good. The interest rate um, in terms of the commercial bank, it's double digit. Again, you can understand that that is not good when, it, when you think about um, financing for small and medium-sized businesses or just about any business at all. We have an inflation rate of between 6 and 8% for the last two years. And, uh, however, now where the opportunity exists is uh, that the small and medium-sized uh, um, businesses represent about 80% of uh, um, the country's business across all sectors. And uh, again, the, where the opportunity exists is that over the last 10 years, uh, there's an average of 6,000 small businesses that have registered with the company's office. Now, not all of these businesses are at the stage of listing on an exchange, but they present the pipeline that we feel um, is necessary for listing on the exchange. The challenge with the small and medium-sized businesses are the fact that there is a constraint in terms of um, capital. Um, the banks are much more cautious in terms of lending, even where it is a good business. The second um, issue is uh, that of just if the bank actually gives the financing the 11% or more, which makes it very uncompetitive, especially when you um, look at our region and globally, so our products become uncompetitive. The third issue that we have with small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, not many of them are good in respect to corporate governance. And uh, the fourth uh, um, issue that you have with most of the companies within Jamaica is they're not very good at paying tax. So therefore, how do we get around the problem of financing small and medium-sized enterprises, allowing for um, companies to grow, and also allowing our government to have that needed revenue um, to address the issues of uh, the country. We at the Stock Exchange, um, we have had over the last 44 years, approximately on average 40 companies that are listed on the exchange. It really means that although we speak about the many companies that exist, you do not have that attractiveness for companies to raise capital on the exchange. And mainly, many of the, these reasons I've spoken about, and also um, there are two others, cultural and the issue of disclosure. Therefore, we needed to find an avenue, a carrot, to attract companies to come to market for their own good, to grow the economy, and um, to allow for some amount of longevity. 
And what we did, we approached the government in terms of a public-private partnership with the government. Um, what we um, asked, we put forward is an approach to the government with clear objectives. One that, uh, um, based on what we'll be asking for, which I'll tell you a little later on, um, we would see long-term viabilities of the SME, we'd see a wider pool of investors, we'd see an increase in employment, we would see larger pool and greater tax compliance, we would see improved compliance and corporate governance, and we'd see increased liquidity for the exchange and sustainable development. So these are all the things that we, we suggested um, that we will, um, to the government that we will see. And that is uh, by the creation of a junior market. Now the creation of the junior market don't look on those slides, I think I might have passed them. But the creation of the junior market was simply this. What we would put in place in respect to the creation was that small and medium-sized companies would come to market. They would raise, um, and I'll speak in US dollars, they would re raise a minimum they must raise they must come via an IPO, initial public offering, raising a minimum of $500 million and a maximum of $5 million in participating equity capital. They must be listed on the exchange, either the main or the junior or, and the main combined of 15 years. These companies must have a mentor, and these mentors must be approved by the Financial Services Commission. The aim of the mentor is to allow for good governance. So we spoke about bad governance. This would be um, creating a, um, an environment where we would be improving governance practices. And um, the reporting re um, requirements would be the same as the main market. So if these are such stringent um, regulations and um, requirements, why then would we have a junior market that persons would be attracted to? What we ask the government to do is to provide concession, tax concessions to these junior market companies. Um, tax con 10 years tax concessions, at co that's corporate income tax where the companies pay for the first five years, no corporate income tax, but the other five years, 50% of the prevailing rate. Obviously, it solves one problem. It would be getting companies in the net, which otherwise was, was not in the net for the government. So the government will be building a pool of uh, long-term tax-paying persons. And I must just go back to say that we, we also indicated to the government that se over 70% of uh, the companies that are currently, that were currently paying tax were the companies that were listed on the exchange. So 70% um, of the corporate income tax that the government earned um, arose out of companies that were listed on the exchange. So because of the sunlight, because of the disclosure. So in the event that they could get more companies listed on the exchange, then the, um, by virtue of that, the um, tax compliance should increase. Companies in, in respect to the stock exchange, companies would also pay 50% the junior market of the listing fees. The government agreed. And based on that agreement, we, we have seen 16 companies that have now listed on the junior market. Where we had just one or two companies per year and sometimes a net of minus, we see now that between the end of 2009 to current, there are 16 companies that have listed on the exchange. Um, they have uh, raised over 2.1 million, and I speak again in US, 2.1 million dollars um, in capital, contributing to um, part of the GDP, 2.85 
percent the volume and values traded um, across the junior market since inception has been has increased from 86.1 percent to 315 percent all these companies that have listed on average um, have increased revenue by 171 percent and profit growth by 413 percent the the fact is that the companies that have also come to market, let me just go back a little in terms of the pool of um, investment. All the IPOs have so far been oversubscribed, and the, the oversubscription are mainly in the range of 80 to 100 percent, some more than that. But all have been oversubscribed. We have increased our customer um, account base from 85,000 to some 140,000 in terms of um, the accounts in the central depository. So we, we have uh, many persons, and then it ties back to confidence. Many persons, many investors, many new investors, and investors are willing to invest in these companies because um, they are regulated. They are as regulated as the main market companies. The companies have also, since inception, um, again, looking at whether we have met the objectives of the, the, um, this incentive by the government, we have had uh, um, some 230 full-time um, employment, uh, increase in employment, and 100 temporary, and that's growing. And you can see in terms of the market capitalization, where it started in 2009, compared to where it is now, there is, there is a dip in 2012 based on the fact that the market has been a little down. The year-end index started with a base of 100, and um, the index is 647.78, which shows uh, um, growth. And I spoke about the percentage um, marked capitalization to GDP. In all, we have an active, that's the revenue growth of junior market um, and the profit on average in terms of sectors. Now, this is a part which I think is also interesting because the government forego the corporate income tax. But you will see, just a, and this is just an example of some of the companies, where um, although the corporate income tax has been foregone based on the revenue increase of the companies, um, the, there has been an increase for the government's intake as it relates to government general consumption tax in the area of statutory deduction because there's an increase in employment. Um, you will see that the government also have um, increase its um, taxes in respect to statutory tax. And this is the area of taxes that are foregone. So the, the pre-tax profit of these companies have improved. However, they will not pay the tax until the next five, um, year six. On average, when you average, when the calculator and the maths suggest that over after a five-year period, there will be the amount foregone will be equal to the amount that has been recouped from GCT and statutory contributions. And by year six, um, the government should see a net increase. Now, in terms of uh, liquidity, the volumes um, traded on this market has increased by some 1,122%, and also the values traded, um, the value traded. I think we can safely conclude, um, I'm gonna stop here, we can safely conclude that uh, the SME can drive the economy. Um, the SME has driven the economy, and uh, just to say that uh, just yesterday, the government had to take some decisions in respect to more taxes, 
um, for because of the sort of economic plight that Jamaica is in. Um, we, have, we will be um, looking at a second round of uh, debt exchange program, and that is local to our country. However, the decision was not taken as it relates to um, the concession that has been granted here to change it, because the government realizes that this has had an impact on our economy, a positive impact. Um, in respect to the pipeline, there are quite a number of companies that are lined up through a broker member, because that's how it is done, um, to list on the exchange. So we are growing listing, we are increasing liquidity, and we are contribute based on the initiative, and we are contributing to um, the growth of the economy. Thank you.